Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always, and as you can see, things are a little different here, and as you can see, maybe um, the audio and video don't really match up. Well, today I'm going to be showing you in OBS Studio how to uh, sync everything up so you can get your audio and video all on the exact same time. Okay, so... Um, after you get everything set up, you're going to go ahead and go to the audio mixer. As you can see, all of the, these devices are going to be um, listed over here if there is any microphones in them. The audio output capture, of course, is going to be whatever sound that your desktop or your computer is actually making. Um, you'll see that sound wave there. Of course, there is no sound in the background, so we don't have a sound wave for that. What we want to do is down in the audio mixer, we actually want to open up this little cog wheel here, and we want to go to advanced audio properties. And as you can see, we have a list of the audio inputs or the audio devices that we have in OBS. The Yeti microphone, of course, is, is active, um, and you actually change the balance, the sync offset, the auto monitoring, and then the number of tracks that it's being recorded on. This is what we're going to be looking at right here is the sync offset. Now, you can change this to positive and negative values. So to find out the exact... Um, time that we're going to be doing this. We're going to actually go ahead and click that off. I'm going to turn my um, video capture device back on. And what we're going to do is we're going to record a very short two or three second, maybe five second clip. Um, you want a visual representation. And so we're actually going to be clapping in this because we want a very pronounced sound and a very pronounced visual aid. That way we can match things up. So let's go ahead and start recording. And we're just going to clap. Actually, let's get into frame, and then we can stop the recording. Now, these next steps are going to be up to you, whether you guys are going to be using Adobe Premiere or maybe HitFilm Express or HitFilm Pro. I'm going to be using HitFilm Pro because that's what I like to use. You can really use any video editing software that has a timeline where you can see a sound wave and a video, um, on a, a visual representation as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of um, OBS for right now. We're gonna be coming back to it, so let's go ahead and just minimize that. Okay, so now that I've got the video thrown into the video editing software that I'm gonna be using, like I said, you can use any video editing software that you want, as long as you've got a visual representation of the audio in the wave of a sound wave. Um, that way that you can count the frames in each scene. So what we wanna do is, I've already put in these little sections. We're actually going to mute the audio for right now because it's kind of distracting. Um, from when I had that second clap in that little clip that we recorded on OBS. Um, and as you can see, from the distance or from the time from when the sound starts or when you... The loudest point and then it, of course, fades out. And to when my hands come together to make the sound is what, nine frames? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is gonna give us a, so it's nine frames, but we are running at 30 frames per second, which means each frame is gonna take up 33.3 .3 milliseconds in time. So what we need to do is we actually need to go back into OBS. Um, I'm gonna turn my, <laughs> turn my, dis my, uh, my video capture off, because like I said, it drives me nuts with that, that sound delay. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this little cog here again. We're going to open up the advanced properties. And like I said, we've got 33.3 .3 milliseconds per frame. And we've got, what did I say, nine frames? So all we need to do is multiply 33.3 .3 by nine, and that will give us the offset. So let's go ahead and bring up this calculator. And of course, 33.3 .3 times nine gives us a value of 299.7 milliseconds. So let's go ahead and exit out of our calculator and the Yeti mic. We actually want to give this as a positive value of, let's just do 300. That way we can round that up. 300 milliseconds of the synced offset, which means the audio coming from the Yeti mic will be delayed by 300 milliseconds. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then now we can actually go ahead and start recording this. So let's go ahead and turn the video back on. And we're going to go ahead and click start record. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. It's really super simple. I know it kind of takes up a little bit of time to explain how things work and how to get there. But 
If you were wanting to um, watch a little bit more of the Misfit Studios gaming channel, I've got a link down in the description below on that. And we will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.